Hello boys and girls, I am Mrs. Y. Paramal. Today I'm going to deliver my second lesson on genetics, which is a grade 12 life science topic. Today I'm going to discuss 11 different concepts and I'm going to do my best to explain each of those concepts to you. The first one is heterozygous or hybrid. It refers to an individual, for example a person or plant or animal, which has two different or two contrasting alleles for a particular characteristic. The genotype of that individual would be two different letters. For example, a capital letter B coding for brown eye color and the small letter coding for blue eye color. Or a capital letter R coding for red flowers in plants and small r coding for white flowers, etc. If we look at this example of single-stranded homologous chromosomes, this individual would be heterozygous because there are two different alleles for eye color. This allele codes for brown eyes and this allele codes for blue eyes. This allele is written as a capital letter because it is a dominant allele and this is written in small letters because it is a recessive allele. The next concept is homozygous or pure breed or true breed. Homozygous is opposite to heterozygous. It refers to an individual with two identical alleles. The genotype would be two same letters, capital letter B, or two same small letter B, or two same capital letter R's. The capital letter B both code for brown eye color. The small letter B both code for blue eye color. The two capital letter R's both code for red flowers in plants. Since both alleles are in combination with each other and both alleles are identical, they are always expressed in the phenotype. In other words, the external outward physical appearance of the individual. This individual will be pure breeding for eye color because both alleles are identical. But since both alleles are dominant, represented by the capital letters, this individual would be pure breeding dominant for brown eye color. This individual would be pure breeding since both alleles are identical. However, since the allele coding for blue eye color is recessive to the allele coding for brown eye color, then this individual would be homozygous recessive. Multiple alleles. When there are more than two alternate forms of a gene in a species. In other words, there are more than two alleles which control a gene in a species. So far, we've learned that a single gene is controlled by two alleles. However, some genes can be controlled by three, four or more alleles. And these are called multiple alleles. They are called alleles because they can occur on the same positions, also referred to as loci, on homologous chromosomes. An example of multiple alleles is blood type in humans. For blood type, please remember 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, because in humans, blood type is controlled by one gene. 3, because this single gene can be controlled by three different alleles. Small letter I represents the allele which codes for blood type O. Capital I superscript capital A represents the allele which codes for blood type A. Capital I superscript capital B represents the allele which codes for blood type B. Two, because each person can only have a combination of two of the three alleles or two identical alleles such as small letter I which codes for blood type O and capital I superscript capital B which codes for blood type B or a person can have both alleles coding for blood type A. 4 because the different combinations of these three alleles results in four different blood groups in people. Blood type O, blood type A, blood type B, and blood type AB. The next concept
concept is karyotype. What is karyotype? It is a photo of an individual's chromosomes taken from a diploid somatic cell in which the autosomes are arranged by size and numbered in a molecular space. With the gonosomes, also referred to as sex chromosomes, identified at the end of the photo. This picture shows an example of the human karyotype. Why does it represent human karyotype? Because it has 23 pairs of homologous chromosomes. This dotted line represents chromosomes that are missing because of the lack of space. The first 22 pairs of chromosomes are called autosomes, while the last chromosome pair is called the sex chromosomes or gonosomes. There are two types of sex chromosomes. One is the X chromosome and the other is the Y chromosome. So if we look at the last chromosome pair here, which one is the X chromosome? The larger one is the X chromosome, while the smaller one is the Y chromosome. Remember, although they all look like Xs, the X chromosome is a gonosome found only in the, at the end of the karyotype. Question, why are these two chromosomes, the X and the Y chromosomes, called sex chromosomes? Because these chromosomes, the X and the Y chromosomes, determine the gender of an individual. If an individual has two large chromosomes, in other words, two X chromosomes at the end of the karyotype, it means that this is a female person. If an individual has one large chromosome and one small chromosome at the end of the, the karyotype, then this would represent a male person. Sex-linked characteristics. What are sex-linked characteristics? These are traits or characteristics which are controlled by genes found on sex chromosomes, in other words, the X and the Y chromosomes. Example, hemophilia, which is characterized by blood not clotting properly, is caused by a recessive allele found on the sex chromosome, which is the X chromosome. The second example is color blindness, which is the reduced ability in people to distinguish between certain colors. For example, some people are unable to distinguish between red color and green color. Color blindness is also caused by a recessive allele found on the sex chromosome, which is the X chromosome. Another reason why these are called sex-linked characteristics is that these traits affect a particular gender. Hemophilia and color blindness mostly affects males in the human population. Number 14, cloning. Cloning is the production of genetically identical offspring of an organism using biotechnology. For example, Dolly the sheep was the first mammal to be cloned from an adult somatic cell in the United Kingdom in 1996. The sheep from which the somatic cell was taken is the nuclear donor and Dolly was genetically identical to this nuclear donor because it received a full set of chromosomes from this sheep. The next concept is biotechnology. Let's break it up into two parts, bio and technology. It is the use of technology and biological processes, organisms or systems to do what? To manufacture products to improve the quality of human life. Biotechnology is used to make many products, including medicines to treat sick people, vitamins to enhance a healthy body, insulin to treat diabetes. Number 16, human genome is the complete set of all the genes present in all the DNA, in other words, all the chromosomes of humans. The next one is genetic modification or genetic engineering. Genetic modification 
is a deliberate modification of the characteristics of an organism to get desired changes by manipulating its genetic material using biotechnology. For example, E. coli bacteria can be genetically modified to produce human insulin. The next one is monohybrid cross. Mono is Greek origin for meaning one. It refers to reproduction, also called a cross, between two individuals involving only one trait or characteristic at a time. Example, flower color. In plants, there are thousands of different characteristics. However, this cross involves only one characteristic. For example, when a red flowered plant is cross pollinated with a white flowering plant, then what would the phenotype of the offspring be? Why is this referred to as a mono hybrid cross? Because it involves one characteristic. Which is the characteristic? We spoke of red flowers and white flowers, therefore the characteristic is flower color. Our last two concepts for today's lesson are the following. Dihybrid cross and filial generation. What do we mean by a dihybrid cross? Di is Greek origin meaning two. It refers to reproduction, also called a cross, between two individuals. It's always between two individuals involving the inheritance of two traits or characteristics at a time. For example, if a plant which is tall and which has red flowers is crossed with a plant of the same species which is short with white flowers, then this would be an example of a dihybrid cross. Why is it a dihybrid cross? Because tall and short is one characteristic of height and red flowers and, sh and white flowers is the characteristic of flower color. So since it involves two characteristics, it is referred to as a dihybrid cross. When we do the monohybrid and dihybrid cross, you will come across this term, filial generation. It is the first generation or offspring after mating, namely F1, which is first filial generation. Further mating results in the next set of offspring called the F2, or second filial generation. If in the first genetic cross, the P1 represents the first set of parents with tall and short plants, and F1 representing the first set of offspring called the F1, or all are tall, then if these offspring now are cross-pollinated with each other, they become P2, the second set of parents. And their offspring would be called the F2, the second filial generation.